good morning students so we have already finished algebra now we'll start with mensuration another part of maths is mensuration in mensuration we'll do area all right area so what is area area means the region region enclosed by a curved plane all right suppose if i take one circle circle is a one plane okay this area is covered by this circle this region is covered by this circle so this region is called the area of the circle suppose if i talk about this is one triangle yes or no this is one triangle so what is its area so the region the region the which it is which is enclosed by a plane surface okay that is called the area now what is area of circle so area of circle is pi r square this is the sign of pi this is called pi okay and r r means what r is the radius so area of circle is pi r square so what is the area of semi circle semi semi means half of the circle all right so area of semi circle will be half of area of circle yes or no because semi means half semi circle means half of circle that means if area of semi circle i talk that means half of the area of circle so circle is pi r square so area of semi circle is half pi r square and the value of pi is 22 by 7 all right next is what is area of triangle area of triangle is half base into height base is what suppose if i talk about this triangle so what is the base this is the base okay and height means what perpendicular from the base that is called the height so if i talk about area of right angle triangle right angled triangle right angle triangle means what one of the angle is 90 degree so what is the area of right angle triangle so half into the lengths of the sides which are making the 90 degree angle all right that is area of right angle triangle half into base into height that is area of triangle next come area of rectangle what is area of rectangle you, you all have studied this in your previous classes yes or no in 7th standard also you have studied in 6th standard also you have studied about this the so area of rectangle is what length into breadth area of square is what side square that means side into side now area of parallelogram what is parallelogram so parallelogram is one quadrilateral quadrilateral means a whose which has four sides quadrilateral okay whose opposite sides are parallel opposite sides are parallel so this is one parallelogram i have drawn so here ab is parallel to dc bc is parallel to ad that means opposite sides are parallel in parallelogram so what is the area of parallelogram base into height so base can be anything base can be the cd can also be base if i take so if i take cd as the base so what will be its height so perpendicular from cd so you can see perpendicular from cd is ae yes or no the area can also suppose if i take ad as the base so what will be the height in that case ae will not be the height which one will be the height once again perpendicular from ad so what is the perpendicular from ad i have drawn af all right so that is called area of parallelogram base into height clear next now what is area of rhombus what is rhombus rhombus is none but tilted square tilted square that means is all the sides are equal just like square but in square you see in square the angles are all 
also 90 degree. Yes or no? The angles made by the sides, corresponding sides, they also are 90 degree. But in rhombus, it is tilted. So, they are not, these angles are not 90 degree. That only is the difference between square and rhombus. Alright. So, area of rhombus is what? Half into product of its diagonals. What are called diagonals? You see, this AC is the one diagonal. This BD is another diagonal. Okay, so what is area of rhombus? Half into AC into BD. Alright, next time what is area of trapezium? What is trapezium? In trapezium, this is also another type of quadrilateral. Okay, in trapezium, two opposite sides are parallel. Two are not parallel. Only two opposite sides are in. What is the difference between parallelogram and trapezium? In parallelogram, all the opposite sides are parallel to each other. Like AB is parallel to DC, AD is parallel to BC. Yes or no? But in trapezium, only one of the out of the four sides, only two sides are opposite sides are parallel. So AB is parallel to DC. Here BC is not parallel to ED. Okay. But AB is parallel to CD. So, what is the area of trapezium? Area of trapezium is half into sum of the parallel sides. So, which are the parallel sides? Parallel side is AB is parallel to DC. Yes or no? So, sum is what? Sum is AB plus DC into height. What is the height? So, this is the base. So, this one is your 90 degree. Yes or no? 90 degree from the base. That, that is called the perpendicular from the base. That is called height. No? So, into A. Okay. So, half of the sum of parallel sides into height. That is the area of trapezium. What you have to do in this exercise? You have to learn all these formulas. Okay. Only nothing else. You have to learn the formulas. If you know the formula of these plane figures, then you can solve all the problems of this exercise okay so next comes here what is called polygon polygon means it has many many sides okay poly means many many sides and this you see i have made this two types of polygons i made how a two figures geometrical figures i have made so how to find out the area of those geometrical sets so, in the first figure you see, this is the first figure. How to find out the area? You see, it has no uh, particular formula as such. Alright, we have to divide the figure into different shapes which we have studied just now. We have so, you see in this figure, what is this? This is the first region. This is what? This is the first region. You see, this is semicircle. Yes or no? In the second figure, this is what? This is one rectangle. This is the third figure. This, this is the third figure. This is like a trapezium. So, separately we find out the area of these figures and then we add. Then we can get the total area of this figure, this geometrical figure. Yes or no? In the second also, you see another figure I have drawn. Here you see, once again, this is another polygon. You see many sides, there are many sides. So what we will do, we will find out the areas of different figures and then we will add. So in the first you see here, A, B, G, this is one triangle. Here B, G, F, C, this is one rectangle. This is C, F, E, D, this is one trapezium. So separately we will add the areas of these figures then we will add then we can find out the total area of this figure yes or no so in this way all right so based on these formulas our exercise questions will be solved so once again see what is area of circle area of circle is pi r square what is area of semicircle it is pi, half pi r square because semi means half. So half of circle is semicircle. What is area of triangle? Half into base into height. What is area of rectangle? Area of rectangle length into breadth. What is area of square? It is side square. What is area of parallelogram? Base into height. 
whichever we take the base so corresponding is the height okay the perpendicular from the base that is the height then a what is area of rhombus half into product of its diagonals what is area of trapezium area of trapezium is half into sum of the parallel sides into the height and what is area of any geometrical figure so we can divide the geometrical figures into different plane figures and then we can find out the areas we can add and we can find out the total area of that geometrical figure total region enclosed by that geometrical figure all right now we'll start with exercise 1 so in the first question what is given you see find the area of trapezium so you know the what is the formula of area of trapezium it is half into sum of the parallel sides into height so what is given half into sum of parallel sides the parallel sides are given 16 centimeter and 22 centimeter height is also given perpendicular distance given no perpendicular means only height i said you know so perpendicular distance is given 11 centimeter so half into 16 plus 22 into 11 so if we calculate we get so keep in mind whenever we find out the area so in the answer we should write the units also and unit areas unit is in squares it will come if it is suppose in centimeter given the size that means it is square centimeter okay so like that area we find second question you see so number one bit one i have done number two once i can see bit one i have done if one of the parallel sides of trapezium here one side is given is 48 centimeter and the distance between the parallel sides that means that is the height height is given 25 centimeter area is also given 900 centimeter find the length of other parallel side so see the uh, formula write the formula first area of trapezium is equals half into parallel side sum of parallel side that means one parallel side plus another parallel side into height area is given 900 one parallel side is given 48 other side we have to find out height is given 25 so if we calculate we get 24 so 24 is what 24 centimeter all right so question number two bit number two you can do same way bit number two is given you see what is given here given parallel sides are given area also given so only you have to find out the height that means here area is given parallel sides are given that age you have to find out same way you will do only one formula okay question number three what is given the parallel sides of trapezium are in the ratio given 7 is to 11 that means that is not the exact length of the sides yet yes or no here the ratio is given 7 is to 11 distance between them is given 35 distance between them means this is the height area is also given 1260 centimeter square find the length of the parallel sides so we do not know exactly what is the parallel side so let one parallel side is 7x other parallel side is 11x because 7 is to 11 given no? so area is formula is what half into sum of the parallel sides into height area is given sum if we do the so 7x plus 11x means 18x into 35 so if we calculate x comes 4 x comes 4 now if we put the value so one parallel side is 7x that means 7 into 4 28 centimeter other parallel side is 11x that means 11 into 4 is equals 44 centimeter all right next question number four find the area of semicircle semicircle what is the formula of a semicircle area of semicircle is half pi r square so put that formula so first one is given radius is given that means r is given 21 centimeter square so area of semicircle is what half into pi value i already i have said 22 by 7 into r r is given 21 centimeter so if we calculate you will get the value of semicircle areas okay so question number one question number two like that 
क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री बी थ्री डायमीटर गिवेन सो डायमीटर गिवेन मीन्स वॉट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रेडियस सो रेडियस मीन्स वॉट हाफ मीन्स हाफ इन टू हाफ रेडियस इज हाफ इन टू डायमीटर इज गिवेन दैट मीन्स वॉट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट द रेडियस हाउ टू फाइंड आउट द रेडियस हाफ डायमीटर इज रेडियस डायमीटर इज वॉट दिस इज कॉल्ड द डायमीटर और राइट The diameter is the length from one side to another side. The length from one side to another side of the circle. That is the total diameter. And what is radius? Radius is only this much. Only this much is the radius. Okay, so this is so diameter means what? Diameter means two into radius. Yes or no? So to find the radius, you have to divide diameter by two. Then you will get the radius. In that way. Fifth number. Find the radius. So here you have to find out the radius. Area is given. So you can find out the r value of r. Here area is given. R you have to find out. You can do. So up to question number five, you will complete. All right. Thank you, class.